guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a haul for you guys that I want to really quickly film. Um, I feel like I have a lot of stuff so I want to kind of power through this and get it out of the way and get it done with because I've just been having this stuff in like a giant pile in my room and I really need to clean my room and so that's the plan for tomorrow is to clean my room. So we're gonna go ahead and do this haul today. All right so I did purchase a couple of things from JC Penney's. Um, just two things I believe. Um, the very first thing this was on clearance for $18. It's this is really really cute like button up um, top. It's army green. It does have this which I don't really like but it's fine whatever and I just thought it was so cute. I thought it would be really cute to wear with like a pair of jeans and then tuck it in um, like maybe black jeans or just like normal jeans and then wear it with black booties. I think that would be so adorable so I got that and then the other thing that I got from JCPenney's which I've been oh I've been eyeing this you guys move everything around it is a coat a winter coat so it is black super duper fussy and warm oh my goodness it feels so amazing and then it just has this white um fur on it white and black fur and it is so amazing it's just so comfy and it's like a little bit longer and i like it i got a size medium because i didn't have a size large because usually i like to have my like coats and stuff like be really big and like warm and cozy um and this one is actually pretty big for it being a medium so i really really like it and i've been wanting it and i bought it it um was actually on sale for i think like 60 bucks um which for a while there it was on sale for $100 and I was going to buy it at $100 but they didn't have my size and so I was like alright I'll wait maybe we'll get a shipment in or something and then I, one day I found a medium and it was on sale for $60 so I got that so excited there's just so much stuff it's ridiculous alright so we're gonna power through it and then I did end up getting two bras um, at Victoria's Secret I actually got some other stuff from Victoria's Secret, but I've already wrapped it because it was a Christmas present. Um, but I got two bras. They were two for $48, or two for 44 two for 45 two for 40-something. And so I definitely got on that deal because I love the Victoria's Secret bras. And look how cute this one is. Look at the detailing. Look how the detailing it's So, well, look at the detailing. It's so cute. It's adorable. So adorable. But yeah, definitely go check out Victoria's Secret since they're having that deal. These are regularly like $35 a piece. So you, I definitely saved some money. And then I just got a nude one. Which I don't really like this back part. Hopefully I like that on. I don't know. But yeah, I just got myself some new bras because I really needed them really badly. Alright, and then I ordered this from Etsy. And I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested. So you guys can go check it out. But I'm so excited. I actually ordered a couple things from Etsy. But they haven't came in yet. And I'm so sad. Because I actually ordered like a Christmas sweater. Like this is a Christmas sweater as well. But I ordered like another Christmas sweater. That I wanted to wear this weekend. Oh, it's probably not going to be. ordered this bad boy. You serious Clark? <laughs> Isn't it so cute? So I think I'm going to wear this Christmas day. The one that I. I don't want to tell you guys about it. Just in case it does come. Because it's so cute i don't want to ruin the surprise so hopefully it'll come if it doesn't I'll, I'll eventually tell you what it looked like but it's so cute so adorable all right and then i also got some stuff from sephora from my sephora inside jc penny's and then i also went to the freestanding sephora in whenever i went to um st louis and so i just got a couple of things so first i got this face mask set which you saw it in my my hair oh goodness just ignore it you saw this in like my gift guide video. Um, as you can see, I've already taken some out and I put them in some gifts. So I got that at my Sephora. But the stuff that I got at um, the freestanding Sephora was stuff that we don't carry in Sephora inside JCPenney's. Um, and it's just all kind of mixed together in here. So, yeah. So then I got this heavy metals palette from Sephora inside JCPenney's, my Sephora. And this was on sale for $39. And it's so pretty. I'm definitely going to be doing some looks with this one. So. Stay tuned because it's gorgeous. And then I got two liquid lipsticks, one in the color Vamp and then the other in the color Heathers. I'm not going to swatch anything just because I want this video to be super duper fast. I do apologize. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. I also got these from Etsy as well. You've seen them in a vlog, I believe. They are little car coasters. And they say, driver picks the music, shotgun shuts his cake hole. That's from Supernatural. It has a little Impala on it. That's from Supernatural, which is 
one of my favorite TV shows. So I got those. I got two of those, which those were $18 for two. It's kind of expensive, but I just liked it so much that I had to get it. All right, and then I got some Duo Lash Glue. Um, this is the Latex Free one. It's the one that I always, always use. Got a ton of receipts. A ton of receipts. Um, we're getting there. I apologize. I also got these from JCPenney's. These were $5, and I thought they were so cute. I thought they'd be adorable with my new coat. And they're, like, fuzzy, which I probably shouldn't have gotten white, but it's okay. It's okay. I apologize. This video is going to be a hot mess. I already know it. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about the stuff I got from the freestanding Sephora really quickly. So I got a, I got a couple of these lip masks, but I put them in gifts, so that's why you're only going to be seeing one. Because these are my favorite. I love those lip masks. And apparently we don't sell them at Sephora inside JCPenney's. Because I've never ever seen them. And then, this was on sale for $15 at the freestanding Sephora. It is a, like, one, a Z palette. Like, and it says the Sephora collection, and it says Z palette. And it's literally the prettiest print in the entire world. It's called Dark Rainbow. And it is so pretty. Let me take it out so you guys can see it. But it's like metallic-y. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Like in some lighting it looks purple. And then in other lightings it looks pink. And just all different colors. And then it has the glitter on the side. And this is like the big one. And these retail for like, I thought 30 bucks, But it was on sale for $15. So I definitely took advantage of that. Because it's huge. And I'm like, $15? Yes! Yes. And then I also had a gift card. So... Basically, I got it for free. I actually got all of um, the freestanding stuff for free because I had a gift card. Um, and then I also, <laughs> funny story about this. As you guys know, I ended up taking back the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I, I rebought it. Went ahead and rebought it. I decided, all right, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it to have my face um, feel weird after I wear this. It's worth it. So I went ahead and got it in my self-tan shade. Um, and I mean, I just wanted it. I really wanted it. And I had that gift card, so I'm like, all right. I was like, yes, I'm going to get it. It's okay. It is okay if I break out. It looks so beautiful on. I'm going to go ahead and get it. So, yeah. I went. I got the color 25. Uh, 25 soft beige. So, yeah. Even though I went ahead and took it back. I feel bad about that. I feel bad about taking it back and then repurchasing it. But, like, as you guys know, like, a couple months ago, whenever I tried it, I told you guys that I loved the way it looked. It just, because of the scent, it, like, kind of, it didn't break out my skin. It just, like, I don't know, made my skin really, really sensitive and made my skin feel weird. And I was like, I don't think it's worth it. So I ended up taking it back. And then I saw this, and I was like, it's just so beautiful. It's kind of worth it. So I went ahead and bought it again kind of bad but it's okay and then I got my birthday gift I chose the Caudalie little the moisturizing sorbet as well as the serum so yeah I'm I kind of wish I would have waited to do this because I wish I would have gotten the glam glow one the one that just came out but it's okay because I'm gonna go ahead and get that one next year because it's next year's one anyway all right, and then I got a couple more things from my Sephora. So I got this little Sephora favorites kit. This is at, was actually on sale, and I'm actually going to put this one in a giveaway as well as this one in a giveaway, and they were both on sale, which was awesome. So I got both of those. And then I got a Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the color Rebel. This is such a gorgeous shade. Oh, my goodness, I can't get it open. I was going to swatch this one because it's so pretty, but I can't get it open. Oh, there we go. It's so pretty. Uh, I don't want to ruin it, though, because it's so pretty. Oh! Yes. That is freaking gorgeous. I'm literally so excited for this one. It's so freaking pretty. And look at that packaging. That's so adorable. I'm obsessed. So I got that. And then the last two things I got, I got two Marc Jacobs highlighters. Um, I got the first one in the shade Jazzberry. And it's this really, really cute, like, berry, pinky, maroonish shade. It's, like, really, really pretty. It also almost looks like a, kind of like a duo chrome type of shade. But it actually matches pretty well with that um, lipstick. It's showing up a little bit darker on camera. But it's actually a little slightly lighter in person. 
And I just wanted something like really like um kind of like a berryish shade to put like on my lower lash line or not my lower lash line, my lower waterline. Um, and I thought that would be really pretty with like a certain makeup looks. So I went ahead and got that one because as you guys know, I've been experiencing experimenting with the Urban Decay um, liner in Stash, and I really really like this one. And I actually wanted to get a maroon one from this brand, from Urban Decay brand, but they were out of stock. So I went ahead and went with this one. And then the other one I went with, or the other color that I got is Rococo, which is a really pretty, like, brownish shade. It's like a light brown, and I thought this would be really pretty, too. It's really gorgeous. And both of these have, like, a slight shimmer to them, so I think that they're going to be really, really pretty. But these are some of my favorite eyeliners of all time. They're $25, so they're a little bit more expensive than the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liners. Um, but they're my favorite. These are so good. But these are also really, really good, too. They're both really good. I like them both. But these have, like, such unique shades, I feel like. So, yeah. So, I got two of those. That's all I got from Sephora. But then I did go to Bath & Body Works. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm literally gonna sneeze. I did go to Bath & Body Works, and I got a couple candles, because they were on sale. And then I also got a free item, because I had a coupon for a free item. So, yeah. Um, so the first one I got, which was actually recommended to me, they're so dirty on top, which was actually recommended to me by, um, one of the workers at Bath and Body Works, but this is Campfire Donut. It's actually made with essential oils. Oh, and it smells so good. And I love the packaging. I thought that looks cute. Oh, and it, like it fills, you can fill it. It's really cute. I like that. Okay. And then I got two more candles. They were on sale for $12.95 or $0.99 cents or something like that whenever I bought them. But I know that they're a little bit more expensive now. They're like $15 something. And then the other one I got was Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Oh, goodness. This is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. It's like the perfect fall scent. And then, sorry, my alarm's going off. I have to go to work after this. So, I need to hurry up. And the last one I got was But First Champagne. And this one, oh, it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe it. Oh, but it smells amazing. I thought this would be perfect for, like, spring and summertime. Oh, it smells so good. And you can, like, smell it out of the packaging. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. And then the, um, the free item that I got is this Ultra Shea Body Cream the, in Pink Confetti. And it smells so good. This was my first time ever smelling the pink confetti scent, and I'm, like, hooked. It smells really, really good. Then my mom also got a free item, and she got the Pretty as a Peach one, because that's, like, our one, our favorite, our favorite smell from Bath & Body Works. But that is it for this haul. Um, I'm only at 13 minutes right now, so we, we did a pretty good job. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.